so let's start with it google analytics it's a very big tool okay so we are going to cover it today and if something is left out we will cover it in the next class okay so let's start with it Okay, so first of all, before starting, let me take the case study so that you can understand how important this tool is. Uh, like, okay, so EA Sports, you might heard of Electronic Art. This is this is one of the biggest company uh, in the gaming section and by revenue. It is the third largest company in the world, and they have just built one game that is SimCity. Okay, that is an open-ended city game like GTA. Okay, they developed it and uh, they were preparing to sell out to make the pre-sales. Okay, so they launched it, the campaign and doing all types of media advertising and they start promoting it through various call to action, uh, various banners and all. But they started, but they are not getting the expected results. And when they look into the analytics, because it was very difficult, everything was working very fine, the banners, people are click, coming to their website, spending time, and each and everything was happening. But they are not getting the pre-orders. But when they look into analytics, then they realize that the call to action button, okay, what is call to action button? The pre-order button over there was <coughs> in the end of the page. Okay, it was not in the top of the page. That's why they are getting a very less number of registrations. They were in 30% loss. When they move that button in the top positions, in the top page, in the header part of it, then the pre-orders were increased by 44.3%. Without offering anything, not, they are not offering any uh, discount anything, but their orders were increased by 43.4 percent you can imagine how google anal uh, analytics will play a big role in digital marketing you can imagine the revenue was increased by 43.4 percent which is just half of it it is that big surprisingly so you can imagine how important the google analytics is so the it is uh, reading out the data only but you have to read out data and take out the meaning of it and then convert into a marketing strategy that you have to understand. So let's start with it. Okay, so what we are going to learn is introduction to web analytics, data collection method, web analytics process, tools. In tools, we will be working on Google Analytics only. Then we have audience analysis, content overview, conversion overview, best practices for analytics and Digital Analytics Association, what are the guidelines and all. So let's start with Web Analytics. Okay, Web Analytics, how the process is, if I want to define what is Web Analytics, it is the measurement, collection, analysis and reporting of internet data. It is not about uh, reporting the data, it is not about collection the data, it is not about measurement, it is the combination of all four of them together of the internet marketing and to make it a useful, understandable data, ultimately. You have to convert that data into a useful metric so that you can convert more or you get more sales or things like that. So if you look at the organization, in this chart, I, if you look at, you can see we are doing marketing through three channels, that is search engine marketing, that is display marketing, and social media. And we are getting SEM analytics, uh, website tracking reports and social media reports when we combine all the three reports you can get the demographic and behavioral data of the consumer you have to combine because in Google AdWords we can see the analytics we have done we run we were running display ads in Google AdWords we have seen the analytics of that as well but we cannot uh, we cannot tell you exactly how many conversions are happening or how many what is the bounce rate? How much time people are spending on it? What will the age group? We doesn't have any idea. We have seen everything, but we doesn't have a very clear idea about it. But in Google Analytics, we have very, very much clear idea about it. So that is why we do web analytics. 
So importance of web analytics for businesses, set up your business objectives, achieve business goals, improving product quality, providing better services, increasing sales, driving sales to your website, building trust and retaining customer loyalty. Okay, you can achieve your objectives, you can set up your objectives, you can achieve them, you can improve the product. If it is a product thing, you can, if you are in services, then improve the services. The ultimate goal, increase the sales, drive more traffic, build trust and retain loyalty of the customer. That is pretty important. So you can achieve each and everything with the help of web analytics. If you are not doing it, you are missing out a huge thing. So if you look at the advertising, uh, web analytics for advertiser as, as a marketeer, how you look web analytics as you want to decrease your bounce rate, measure your advertising results and how are you able to reach your target audience or not. If you are able to do that, then as a result, you will be generating more, uh, more leads. You will be improving the browsing experience of the user on your website. And you will be able to understand the traffic patterns, how traffic behaves, how the user behaves. You, you can understand driving traffic to your website is worth or not. Creating quality content, whichever content you have created is worth creating it or not. Last is increasing the conversion sales. If you are looking for more and more conversion rates, it can be done by improving what is whatever is happening on your site. So you have to look into it. But the limitations we have to understand before going into the process of web analytics, we have to understand the limitations. It is a time consuming process. It's a very long process and time consuming process. It is not just a one hour task or a two hour task. It, it is a huge amount of time is required. Apart from that, start capturing data after the pay, web page is loaded. If somebody clicked on the SEO result, okay, and going to the website and if our website is load is in the phase of loading and it is not loaded fully, you cannot capture that. Okay, you cannot capture that guy or the user. So that is again a problem. Do not give etiquette information like why the user is visiting. Means there is no such option uh, where user can tell you why he is visiting the website. The user want to, what exactly user wants from you, what user are looking for and what is the user age. Now user age you can answer but it is still not that accurate. The fourth point is provides inaccurate visit counts. Sometimes by default Google session, the by default I will be telling you what exactly the session is. When you visit any website for 30 minutes, okay, you spend th uh, more than 30 minutes, then this site count as two visits. It count as there you come on the site twice. But actually, if you are for one only one hour. Oh, sorry, if you have come to only one hour, one time for th more than 30 minutes, it consider as second visit. That is a problem. Next is you can uh, not exactly track the user location because you do not track it through IP addresses and or some of the users are using proxy or static IP addresses. That's why you are not able to track them completely. But 80-90% of the users you track are accurate. Okay, the inaccuracy level is somewhere near 10%, 5 to 10%, but it is improving day by day and Google is trying to improve that, but still the limitation is there. 